Hey y'all, this is Luke the Drifter here. Uh, today I'm showing you this Finn, uh, this is a 1944 9130. Uh, it's a Tika. So it's pretty cool. It's a beautiful rifle. You can see the markings there. And uh, that this lighting makes everything look even, I don't know, less smooth than it really is. But the, the bluing on it is beautiful. Uh, it's in this really nice fin pot belly stock. It's got the double stack front sight blade. Very discreet import marking there. Cleaning rod. The cool swivels for the sling there. Um, the number on the barrel matches the number on the receiver. And the uh, it also matches the number on the bolt. Uh, the bolt has some really cool markings on it, as does the entire rifle because the fins use just, you know, lots of different parts in making these rifles. But uh, I've seen some markings on throughout this rifle that I haven't seen on my other 9130s that I've had in the past. So anyway, the butt plate is not numbered. Um, as you can see, it's got this nice uh, pine tar finish on it. And uh, it also comes with this. This is the bayonet that came with the rifle, and I think it's been with the rifle for quite a while. This is a uh, Finn uh, 9130 bayonet. Um, I think it started life. Let's see here. It's hard to say. I don't know. I'll let you figure that out. <laughs> but you can see there's a line through there and a, n a fresh serial number stamp there and as well as at least another number stamp there that's also been scratched out. So this this bayonet has seen some real use and some real cool history. I'm running out of daylight here. But uh, anyway, you can see it's just really cool the way that um, it's extremely similar to just your standard Russian 9130 bayonet, which is what I have right here. Uh, except that, uh, first of all, this this Russian bayonet doesn't look like it's seen any use. Uh, and also, if you look, you can see that the blades, or whatever you call it, these things right here coming off, um, are wider on the fin. Bayonet. I don't know how they widen them or or whatever, but uh, the dimensions are pretty much just identical between the two, uh, except for they are wider. There's sort of rougher machining on the fin bayonet, and um, yeah, so just a really cool setup there. Um, here's the. I really like the way the crown is here at the muzzle. It's not like your typical Russian 9130. It has a like a concave sort of flat muzzle. Uh, let's see if I can get a picture of the bore here. Bore is just gorgeous. I mean, like a brand new, brand new rifle. Uh, let's see here. Uh, of course, I can't get a picture of it. But, I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your watching, and uh, talk to you soon.